Like, how's your contract situation work with Barstool? Like, I would imagine, too, with how you've grown the last, like, two years, that there'll be more and more opportunities that come about. There's also the thought of, like, you know, I've had the same thought, like, being a solo creator. Like, do you go be with a mm. business? Do you be with the network? Like, you know, someone who owns all your rights and can monetize you, or do you do it on your own? Like, how do you balance all that stuff, and how, how do those conversations come about? So, like, contracts? So, we, uh, mine, like, I don't want to go into detail about yeah, my yeah, contract, detail, yeah. but yeah. I'm like, from the perspective of solo versus yeah. bar stool. Yeah. So how do you think about it? Like as See, a, that's a really yeah. good uh, yeah. question. It's something I think about a lot too, yeah. because people will bring it up to me too. They'll say like, yeah. sometimes I'll be out with friends or whatnot and I'll meet somebody that works for like a agency yeah. where they Who represent. They <laughs> and then they're like, oh, what do you, what, what, yeah. what does bar stool pay you? Da, 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 da. And I won't tell them, but they'll say like, oh, I bet, they're screwing you over, quote unquote. But here's the thing, like, the solo journey mm -hmm. is so, it's, when you have, solo versus Barcelona in my mind for me, yeah, I could go and leave and get whoever's DMing me right now for a $20,000 post on Instagram. I can do that, but here's the thing, what if, th that may not be there yeah. in a month, two months, three months, a year. Now, obviously you can bet on yourself and whatnot, but the solo aspect is something that Barstool gives you. They allow us to be by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking contractually, but like yeah. they allow you to do whatever be you want. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm the face of that. Mm -hmm. I got kicked off the college football show. I got told to stop talking on a podcast. Yeah. No one, in Barstool history ever told me to do less videos. Yeah. That they, they nobody ever said you need to stop doing these. Mm -hmm. Which they could have said at some point, no, we don't want you to do this yeah. anymore. It's like, oh those like they were they said when they when Barstool took the college football opportunity our show opportunity away from me, that wasn't you can't make videos. It's like mm -hmm. you need to go and prove it. Yeah. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Now I also wouldn't want to go solo because I really love the team aspect of, of Barstool, at yeah. least at this moment. Who knows? That could change next year, two years, three years. Yeah. But a lot of what I do and how I, a lot of the stories I report on, a lot of my ideas come from collaboration with other yeah. people. And I, I don't know if I would have that if I went solo. Yeah. Probably so, be lonely. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, that was my biggest concern about people moving to Chicago, because <clears throat> just geographically, I wasn't invited to go to Chicago, but I could have asked and I, maybe I could have gone, but geographically, my family, friends, I, was, I never yeah. wanted to go, but I was so sad because a lot of the people that went to Chicago were in the office every day. And it, that was like, the, yeah. like you would chop it up with them. And a lot yeah. of those guys that I loved making jokes with or even seeing, yeah. like not even if I was, like Big Cat, I didn't shop up with every day, but I liked <laughs> seeing see Big Cat every day. Yeah. Cause it was like, also I look at Big Cat and I know he recorded a podcast until three in the morning yesterday. And then he's back in the office at 930. Yeah. Like that, you, you take inspiration from that because yeah. it's like, hey, this guy who's number one sports podcast in the world yeah. outside of Travis Kelsey. And, yeah. yeah, but he's yeah. like, and then he does, another show he does a daily show at 1 p.m mm. for two hours like he's always doing stuff and he i always saw him doing stuff and he was always around and he i always thought to myself how does he have that energy mm. and that was just because i mean yeah maybe he has the energy but like just the will to just like keep doing it yeah and that was like a i guess my biggest thing was i just stayed alive at barstool like, I, yeah. no one cut me they just yeah. they just said oh you're off the show yeah, and they and then no one caught me, and they they allow me to do other things, and but I went off on a tangent there. But with the loneliness aspect, I think I would be, and, and in New York we still have a lot of great guys, and it's yeah. just a smaller group now, yeah. which kind of stinks. But it's also it's like that's life. Yeah. Not nothing s stays the same forever. Yeah, it's like you keep it that. It's like when you leave high school. It's like. I remember in high school, it's like, you didn't want to leave high school. Like, yeah. obviously you want to go to college, but it was like high school is like, all your friends are together. Yeah. Yeah. And same with college, but like, yeah. that's life, it changes. Yeah.